Alright guys, in this video I'll be going over how to make star mines. And I actually don't just add stars into my star mines, I add two other effects. The first of which is crackle balls, which you can see right there in the tin. And I'll explain later how you can get those. And the second effect to add is flying fish views. These are for color, and I have red, green, and silver. They come in 45 foot long rolls. And then I just cut them up into little pieces and put them into the tube. And in the Ziploc bag, I have the tiger tail stars, which I made two videos ago, and I later on coated them in black powder just to be sure they ignited. And the next thing you'll be needing is a mortar. I'm just using a PVC pipe, which I screwed on to a plywood board, and then I drilled a little hole at the bottom for the hobby fuse, or the visco fuse, and I'm just using about a three inch long piece just to give enough time to get away. Okay, so the first thing I've been starting with is I've been getting a little bit of black powder and just dust the bottom of the mortar. Now, I wouldn't worry about this step too much because it's really just been something that I've always just been doing, so this part is optional. What you really need to get ready is your lift charge. You can either use quick fuse or granulated black powder. If you're going to use quick fuse, I recommend cutting off about two feet, then scrunching it up in a ball, and then ramming that down to the bottom of your tube. It works pretty well, it just won't get all your effects up as high as the granulated black powder will. If you're going to go with the granulated black powder, I've been putting in about four small scoops, and this seems to work pretty well. You can deviate from this if you want, because it's not really exact here, but four scoops seems to be the way to go. I showed you how to make the granulated black powder in my previous video, so check that out if you've not already. Alright, so what you want to do from here is get a long wooden stick and just ram down all of your granulated black powder. Now if you don't do this step and you don't crush it all down, this is what happens. Now clearly nothing really got up that high in the air and it kind of just popped up a little bit and then went. So you really need a pack that's down and crunch it or else it's not going to go up that high. Okay, so once you got your lift charge packed into the firework, we're on to the effects. Now, here are the flying fish fuse, which make sure they're cut up into small pieces like I have here. Roughly an inch or so. If you have them too long, they'll go flying off in the distance, so definitely don't want to have them too long. Now, here are the crackle balls, which put in a small scoop of crackle balls and then a pinch of flying fish fuse. And just keep alternating like that. The fuse will provide all the color for your firework. They'll provide a little bit of noise, but not too much. The crackle balls is where most of the noise comes from. Now, what I said earlier is I'll explain where to get these crackle balls. So you can get them from websites like Pyro Creations or Skylighter, and you'll find them in novelty fireworks such as Magic Whip, Dragon's Eggs, Crackling Strips, things like that. So around 4th of July time, you can buy them also at other local stands or shops, and you'll find them there, but you can always just get them off a website like I mentioned earlier. They're really easy to take apart, so don't worry about that. And they're generally not even that expensive either to get. Same with the flying fish fuse. So keep packing that in until you filled up the tube to your liking, which I would not fill it up to the top. That's way too much. Just probably about two thirds of the way up, maybe three quarters of the way up around there. No need to overdo it. And the last effect to add are the stars. What I do is I just put in about two to three right on top of the fuse and crackle balls. And you technically don't even need to add the stars. You can literally just do this with the fuse and crackle balls themselves, and it'll still look really, really cool, but it just adds on another interesting effect. And I think I mentioned this earlier, but once I made the stars, I moistened them with a little bit of water and then just rolled them in some dry black powder just to make sure they go off. And then once you're done with that, I usually just get a little scoop of black powder, put it in right on top, knock the side of the PVC just to distribute it throughout. And that's just to make sure all the fuse and crackle balls catch, but you don't really need to do the step, it's just another fail safe. Then from there, just get a tissue or napkin, put it right in, ram it down very, very tight to build up, keep the pressure in so that when the granulated black powder catches, it goes up pretty high. And yeah, from there, you're all done and you're ready to light.
Look at the stars. Oh my. <laughs> Oh yeah, and one thing to mention is that the stars will sometimes break up into many stars, so keep that in mind when you're putting them in because they tend to float down a little ways, and if it's windy, they could carry away where you don't want them. But sometimes they do stay completely in one ball intact, which is technically what they're supposed to do, but if they break up, it actually makes the embers burn out faster, so it's better for fire hazards. And that's about all I have to say for this one. Stay tuned for future videos.